My name is Shemide Taiwo, the son of the Bale of Makoko Waterfront. I was born and brought up in Makoko, Lagos, Nigeria. I speak Igbo language. I speak Yoruba. But the major language we speak here is Igbo language. Igbo language are people from Badagi. We have some of them from Ogu State. That's the language we speak, Igbo language. Makoko is divided into two. We have Makoko on land and Makoko on water. Here is Makoko on water. Just look at this street. We call this street Akpadi Cruz. The lost street like that we have in this community. This is Adubo Road Street. Adubo. Adubo Street. When you're going, if you go to this street, that's, this street will lead you to on land where you enter the boat when you're coming to the community. But if you want to go to this street, which is Wina Street. This street will lead you to the third Melon Bridge, whereby you see the school in the community. My dad is the valley of Makukon Water. He has been working hard to make peace. If you come to Makukon Water, there's no fight in Makukon Water. Devnes is sometimes there's fight outside, but most of our people are scared of going outside. There's peace in Makoko, no fight in Makoko. It's very peaceful. If you want to be out here on water, I think we have our local carpenter. They are the best that can stand and tell you what, how you can build a house. We have a man who's an architect. Once he came around, he built a school. And we told him that this is the way we want him to build the school. They said, no, he's an architect. No, this is the best school. They always want to do it the way they want it. Once he built the school, I think the school doesn't stay more than five months before it's collapsed. So I think if you want to build out there, we have different type of woods. We want to buy this hardwood and soft wood. If you use the hardwood to build a house, it's going to last more than 50 years. And uh, there's still there. Are, we still have some of this wood that you can use, and it's going to last more than 100 years. But it's expensive, and uh, people go for the soft wood, which is going to last more than three or five years. So you have to change it again. So that's how we build our houses here. Makoko is a fishing community. Nearby, the men have to go out for fishing. Nearby, the wife will be her home. So when you come back home with the fish, you give it to your wife to take it to the market to sell. From this fishing, that's where we get our best of life from. What we do is that most of our women, once they went out to sell fish, the money they make, they use it to buy other things, like drinks, like gary, like rice. So when they bring it to the community, they set up a mobile shop. So they move around and hook around. If you want to buy from them, you call them and buy it from them. And uh, there's also, we have a lot of our women that go outside to buy this bala that they brought from, that they import from other countries. So once they bring it to the community, they smoke it and take it back to the highland for sale. If you look at the old legal state, we supply them the most which they need. If you meet this of our, this our women selling fish outside, if you go close to them, ask them, are you from? I'm 100% sure. They will tell you they are from Makoko. So we supply them fish every day. That's the best we are doing for Lagos State. The challenges we face here, I think I can still remember the greatest challenge we ever faced in this community. That was during year 2012. The governor gave us 72 hour notice to evacuate all the houses in this water. We thought it was a joke. So when they came with the policemen and mentioned, they started cutting our houses. During the process, I think one head of the member of the community was shot to death. But right now we have a lawyer who is standing for the community. This man has done a lot for us. A community with 200,000 plus, the government said we are no more than 100 people. The, our own lawyers stood up and defend our own truth that if the judges can send someone to come down to the community to see the people by himself, it would be nice. So when they go to the school, we have a school which is Wainan Nozian Prime School, the only English school we have in the community. Once they got there, the children sat the national anthem of Nigeria. The judges started crying. 
even the state lawyer started crying. So the judges told the lawyer that you go back to your government, tell him to write a letter of apology to these people, give them school and more hospital. But now nothing has been done. As big as community, this community is, there's nothing here that I can point out and say this is what the government have done for us. Nothing here the government have done. The plan of the government is to move away everybody from here so that I can make this place like lucky. The government knows that we don't have the money. And it knows that we don't have the power. Definitely it's true, we don't have the power to fight him. During the time, I think Federal sent him a letter that he should stop the demolition. That the waterfront is on that, the Federal is not under the state. That's when the government stopped the demolition. But if you, con if you consider us as Nigerian, we are Nigerian, we are born here and we are brought up here. If the government should move us from here, how are we going to start our life? I think when the, we went to court, the government we just uh, we requested for a regeneration plan that they wanted to make this place a tourist center where people would come and say things and go. The lawyer sits down and wrote it, but we submitted it and now the government have not approved it. Even though we tell the government to come and do things here, the government will not do it. I'm telling you, the only time the government needs us is time for election, time for vote. That's when they need us. Everybody here, everybody here have their PVC. During Fasha last time, Fasha came here, Makoko on land. He said we should vote for him, we vote for him. Ambody came here on land, we vote for him. Uh, uh, Sawolu came on land too, we vote for him. So I don't think we should tell them to come and do things, I don't think they can do it. The greatest support we got in this community are always from NGOs. So once they come around, we allow them to come to the community, we welcome them because they are the ones doing the good things in the community. They are really helping us. I think what I can say we need about, we need in this smart people, we need a school. Because we still have a lot of kids at home. Most of them are not going to school. Because the school year is not enough to accommodate all of them. Please come to our homes and help us. That's all we need. The first thing we need is school. After school, we need a hospital. Living on water is a, is a part of our culture. I was born and brought up here. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.